At my front porch swing, a glass of lemonade. A baby on my knee, I think I got it made. You best be believing, I'm never leaving evening shade. Got a southern breeze singing through the pines. Cool as a julep in the summertime. You best be believing, I'm never leaving evening shade. They got ten cents though, no locks on the doors, and everybody knows your name. They got Sunday school, the golden rule, and every day that passes is slower than molasses, and you can't help but smile, lying in the shade. So come on down and you be glad you stay. Don't talk about leaving. I'm never leaving evening shade. I don't get it. I mean, what do people want from an animal control officer anyway? Maybe you just weren't cut out for that job. What are you I scraped the damn thing up off the pavement. <laughs> I, I double-bagged it, which I'm not required to do. Then what do they want? May I make a suggestion? What? Don't run over it next time. Look, if people would... If people would properly chain up their cats like they're supposed to, we wouldn't have had this problem in the first place. Don't worry, Herman. Something else will turn up. Oh, I know it will. I didn't like driving that truck anyway. I mean, every time you throw on the brakes, you'd hear the thuds of their poor little dead bodies flying around in the back. Morning, Coach. Good morning, Herman. Hey, Nub. Heard you backed over Ms. Boone's cat, Pepper. It was Pepper's fault. That's right. Pepper was getting real cocky. He got in the driveway, and he tried to play chicken with Herman's truck. Look, look, look what I got. Oh, isn't that got a tombstone for Pepper? No, we didn't. This is little rock person. I'm making them now in my spare time. Hmm. I'll probably be doing that soon. What do they do, Nub? It just sits there looking pretty. See, I found these rocks out by the quarry, and I attached a dried-up apple for the head. The hard part was finding a good apple to rock adhesive. I'm selling for $1.50 each or two for $1.60. I'll take two. Two. One. Fine. That's two for the coach and one for the cat killer. I made it in a fine, fine morning. morning Harlan. Sorry about Pepper. The thing was more mange than cat anyway. I appreciate the support. Why are you so happy? Remember that piece of commercial property I bought about five years ago out on Highway 15? Uh-huh. I finally rented it. Stop. Hmm. That woman's gonna meet me here with a check. I never could figure out why you bought that piece of property anyway. It is an investment. That's what doctors do. They make investments. I read that once in a medical journal. <laughs> What the hell is this? Ooh. It looks like somebody cut out of Edna Watson last week. Those are little rock people. Nub's selling them, and we all have to buy them. Hey, listen, what kind of business is going into your building? Business that pays rent. That's all I can, that's all I want to do. Excuse me, uh, does anybody know where I might find Harlan Eldridge? Well, if you have some money, you might find him right here. Oh, I'm Roxanne Delford. How do you do? And this is for you. Oh, it certainly <laughs> is. And you might be as lovely as your check. Oh. Look at that sunset. And those seagulls just under the zip code. <laughs> it's almost too pretty to cash. But I will. These? I did. They're so cute. Are they for sale? Yes, ma'am. One for a dollar fifty, or two for a dollar sixty. I guess I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just wanted to get a little something for that poor old Mrs. Boone I met yesterday. An animal control officer ran over her 19-year-old cat, and then just drove right away. He did not. He bagged that thing like he's supposed to, and he didn't leave till a mob started to form. <laughs> I guess I better get. I got about a million things I have to do before I can open up for business. What sort of business are you in? A massage parlor. Full body massage. Now you boys come by. My girls will give you the best one you ever had. 
It's just inspiring. <laughs> I know. I bought a couple of them. A couple? I bought at least a dozen just for my foyer. <laughs> That's it. We are all going right down the sewer. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Rita. Is there a problem? Oh, I would say so. We are getting a massage parlor. Yes. I, mean, I don't know what this town is coming to. We don't even have a good dry cleaner. <laughs> I like massages. Well, you know, it's about the last thing you like it to get from any of those women. Ava, honey, why don't you just go right on out there and close them down? Because I have no proof that they're doing anything wrong. Please, get a grip. I hear those women are selling edible underwear in the foyer. I think we should drop this for now. Hey. <laughs> I, uh, I heard Dr. Elders has written this place out to a massage parlor. Oh, uh, yeah. What? <laughs> Massage parlor? It's a place where they uh, give out massages. Is it like a background? It's supposed to be. You know, I like massages. Yeah, there's uh, nothing like a good massage. Taylor, I don't know what you mean by that, but you better not mean anything. Yeah, I'm innocent. Hey, stay that way. Hi, gang. Hey. Hi. Taylor, tell me this is not true. Duran. Is he getting married? Oh, yeah. Him and Kim McLean are tying the knot. Can you believe it? Hope he doesn't quit the team. He's dumber than dirt, but he's the only one who can send the ball. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Our town doctor is opening up a brothel. Now, doesn't anybody care about that? All those shock treatments you had, none of them took, did they? <laughs> fine, fine, fine. But don't you be a bit surprised when none of those boys on your team can tackle anybody after they all come down with love oil poisoning. <laughs> imagination or are these rock people multiplying <laughs> nubs i'm selling these things in here a week everybody who buys one manages to accidentally leave it behind notice how their little apple heads are starting to ferment yeah. i thought everyone was wearing some kind of cheap apple perfume <laughs> my whole life is beginning to smell like cheap apple perfume i mean he's got them in every room of the house she glued a whole family to my dashboard People are nuts. I understand you're prosecuting Wendell Broadbush's nephew for chasing cars down Buford Road. Uh, poor Lyle. I don't know. Honey, it's not against the law, is it, to chase a car? He was running after them barking. <laughs> no. Yeah, and, you know, it would be okay normally, but last week, he caught a Subaru and took a bite out of it. <laughs> what are you writing? Oh, I got two job interviews today. Oh. Just taking down a few little notes. Yeah. I'm strong, I'm confident, I have the qualities of a leader. I'm my own best friend. Hey, do you mind? Hmm. It's just a little motivational thing that I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to keep myself positive. Sure. The least you could do is just wish me good luck. You don't need good luck. You're your own best friend. Oh, stop it now. <laughs> Look, I don't care what you say to me today. I'm going to have a good day. I'm in a conquering mood. You bet. Go ahead, world. Give me a best shot. All right. All right. Morning, Herman. I know. <laughs> Notice anything different about me? Not immediately. Certain lightness in my step. Mm -hmm. Certain glow of inner peace. <laughs> Went to Miss Roxanne's last night. Got me a massage. <laughs> Did you? Mm, felt great. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. How great? It was really great. <laughs> It is my first time, you know. No. Yeah. Your first time? Yeah. Uh -huh. Woman's name was Anna Marie. Oh, she touched me in a way that was both relaxing and stimulating. We got a problem. Oh, come on. It took me five years to rent that place. I don't think we necessarily have a problem. Where are you going? I gotta go see if her damn check cleared. <laughs> Usually when I have my clothes off, I'm just cold, but that was a lot of fun. <laughs> well, I gotta go. Anna Marie's gonna show me something called the Bangkok Release. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sell about three dozen of these rock people to afford it. Oh, 
honey, I need you to do something for me. I want you to go down to Roxanne's tonight and see what's going on. I don't want to go out there. No. Hey, I'm a happily married man. Besides, I don't see the upside of this, okay? Wood, I'm the prosecuting attorney. I need to know if laws are being broken down there or not. Yeah. And, and I don't want to just walk in and ask, and I certainly don't want to start a big formal investigation. So, so would you please go for okay. me? Okay. <laughs> no, just like that? I told you I didn't want to go. Well, yeah, I know, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's a massage parlor, and... I'd feel better if you took someone. Well, uh, take Ponder. Ponder. Uh, I trust Ponder. You don't trust me? Well, you did agree to it awfully fast. I said I didn't want to go. I want you to go. I just don't want you to have fun. Okay, I'll go. I won't have fun. No, uh, I promise. I don't want to go. No, I want you to go. I want you to go, and you're going. You are going, and you're taking Ponder. I just don't want to see any lightness in your step or glow in the inner peace. <laughs> never should let you talk me into this. Okay, what's the plan? Oh, we go in there, tell them we want a massage, see? Then when they're giving us a massage, and then they'll, you know... You see? Fill, fill you see, you ain't got a plan. plan. I got a plan. You haven't got I'll a plan. I'll tell you I have got a plan. I am leaving. Oh, what I'm are leaving. you talking about? We're not going to see anybody I'm... here we know. Coach, Thunder. <laughs> Welcome to the massage parlor. No, no. Here for a massage? No. Uh, we came to get some towels because Ponder ran out of towels. And I said, who would have a lot of towels? And I said, Roxanne would have a lot of towels. So he came over here to get a lot of towels for Ponder. What are you doing here? Uh, Ms. Roxanne's a big fan of my rock people. Said I could set up a display in a reception area to sell them. Huh. But I liked your excuse better. <laughs> what, Ponder, I didn't know you came in. Why didn't you say something? <laughs> I was just getting the lay of the land, so to speak. What can we do for you boys tonight? Mm, a couple of massages. Just massages? Have you heard enough? <laughs> when you say just massage, I mean, what more could you get if you if you if you had more than just a massage? Steam, a hot shower, a hot oil rub, and anything else you might want. Uh, a couple of massages. Just get on it. I completely understand. I think Missy's available. I'll go check. Good. Just get on it. All right, it was a lousy expression. It came out of my mouth. I wanted to grab it and put it back in, but I couldn't do it. Could I? What the heck? I didn't really mean for it. What? I'm going. I'm going. You're not going. You have this by yourself. No, no, you've got to stay here with you me. Take this we haven't run into any... All we... What? You, you take... Hey, 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 it's hey, it. Uh, small world. I'd ask you why you were here, but I know why you're here, and I'm going to kill you. No, 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 no. Look, I can explain. See, remember, Steve Duran's getting married, right? And, well, uh, uh, we thought we might give him a little bash party. Not gonna happen. <laughs> if your mother knew you were oh, here, it would break her heart. What? If you don't tell her that you saw me, I won't tell her I saw you, all right? <laughs> I'll tell you a little secret. Your mother told me to come here tonight. That is so cool. Man, I hope my marriage is going to be that open. You know, Duran, all the lights are not on in the building anymore. Everybody out. Oh, come on. Out. Come on. Come on. It's just a lockdown. Come on. It's a lockdown. Get out. Are you going to be chasing away customers like that all night? Because if you are, I'm going to have to ask you to move along. All right, Missy's almost ready now. Which one of you is first? He is. <laughs> I am. Well, come on, then. Don't be shy. What? Mm -hmm. I hate to walk out on you. What this you... is about as far as I care to go. Oh, come on, don't leave. I'm not going behind that curtain. I don't need any more rock people. So, good luck, son. No, we'll be right there if you need him right behind you. Don't worry, coach. It's not so bad. Now, for me, I have sensitive armpits. <laughs> well, well. Hey, Woodrow. You have a little back spasm? What are you doing here, Harlan? Well, the ladies had some problems with their pipes, so I came down to clean them out. I bet. You know, uh, I must be in the wrong room. Yeah. I never thought I'd find you down here naked. I ain't naked. 
I got my underwear on uh, underneath here. What? Uh, no, uh, uh, that's what over there, naked. I'm not naked. I got my underwear on underneath here. So you must be the landlord. That's right. But you're supposed to be in room two with Anna Marie. Oh. Oh. Anna Marie. What's the matter, having a little back spasm? Well, of course, as I drove all the way down here, at uh, least I could do is have a rub down. Yeah, I always do that. When I want to clean my pipes, I get a rub down. You know something? You get mean when you're naked. I ain't naked. I got my underwear underneath there. Hi, Wood. Hi. I'm Missy. Hi, Missy. So how are you tonight? Good. Good. Love this towel. Well, good. So what can I do for you? What do you normally do? Well, I like to start off with a little hot oil. Hot oil? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> smells like raspberries. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Are you nervous? No, man, me, no. Is this your first time? No. With a professional, I mean. Yes. <laughs> no, well, actually, there was this time, <laughs> well, I was, in, I was in college, you know, and the whole fraternity, well, we, we went to Hot Springs. Oh, really? Yeah. I used to work in Hot Springs. Dear God. <laughs> OK, I'll tell you what. Uh-huh. Why don't you roll over? Roll over? Mm-hmm. So I can do your back. Oh, yeah, that would be a good place to start. Hmm. You are tense, Wood. Mm-hmm. Just relax. Just relax. Mm -hmm. I mean, all you have to do is lie there and smile. Before you start this, I want you to know that I'm a happily married man, and all I want is just a simple massage. Oh, God, that's a relief. <laughs> You're not Anna Marie. Of course, I'm not Anna Marie. But Anna Marie's on her break. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm here to give you a rub down. I'm their new masseur. Since when? Since this afternoon, little Harlan. Competition for these jobs is pretty stiff, OK? Roxanne seemed to feel that I had nice, firm hands and a winsome smile. Well, I don't think I want you touching me. Look, I'm not excited about the idea myself, Harlan. Especially the way you tip. <laughs> this is my job, okay? Look, all you have to do is just lie there. Well, I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit. I just want you to... Oh. Oh. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> Like that? Mm. So you're new here, huh? Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. Are you all relaxed? Uh huh. Why don't I do your front? <laughs> do what, my friend? Well, just the same as I did to your back. Unless you have a particular muscle that needs special attention. Okay. Now, you know, there's a question that I wanted to ask you. Do you mind if I just, just ask you? No, go ahead. If I was to give you some cash, you know, quite a bit of cash, would you give me more than just a massage? Get me out of here, will you, for crying out loud. No, 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 I, I will. They're finishing the paperwork now. It was a massage parlor. It was just a massage parlor, like yeah. they said it was. Yeah, I talked to Missy. She's going to drop the charges. Hmm. I feel so bad about this. I mean, hmm. I feel like, you know, in a way, I'm responsible. In a way? Well, in a big way. Yeah. I brought you something. No. Oh. Here, look. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Nub made it. It's got a little prison uniform on. <laughs> no. <laughs> they're no. Another rock person. Uh, I feel so bad this happened. No, you ought not Isn't there any way I can make it up to you? No. No, nothing. Come on. Nothing I can do. Well, mm, you know, when I was getting my massage, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. She did my bag, but she never did get around to doing the front. I hope not. No, I sort of feel half done. Oh, well, we can't have that, can we? Huh? So let's go home. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you a massage. That'll land us both in jail. The man will do almost anything for the woman he loves, including at the end. The only touch that really means anything is the touch of the ones we love. And tonight, Wood Newton earned himself that touch and a lot more in a place called Evening Shade.